Okay, here we are again. Uh, good afternoon. We have today with us uh, Peggy Day. Sounds like uh, a famous name. That was Day, right? Are you related to her? No. No, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, she is a um, journalist and author, uh, so I can't wait to find out what she does uh, specifically. And um, so here she is, the, uh, Peggy Day. And we're going to talk about what she likes to report on, correct? Right, what I'm working on now. What you're working on. Yes. So uh, you have been a journalist for how long? Um, really for only about five or six years. Okay. And I was, I'm a retired nurse. And, and you report on about different nurse um, th I also problems? I also am a freelance reporter out in Point Reyes Station for our local newspaper, so I'll report on any community issue. Oh, it could there. be uh, also other issues. Yes, yes. But right now you have an issue at heart, if I understand well. And what is it? Um, it's about, about transvaginal mesh. It's yeah. a, a surgical implant for yeah. women. And, okay. Um, it's the topic that I've been studying about for the last three years and, and writing about and um, working on a book about, about the, the topic. Okay. Uh, so do, have you, have you worked as a nurse in the gynecology department? Um, no, mostly I was in the emergency room and in critical care, and um, so not specifically in gynecology. But, but early in my life, I was a lay midwife, so I delivered. You know about that? A bunch of babies at home uh, that are now in their forties. Oh, <laughs> yeah. really? Yeah. Oh so my I, goodness! And I've always been in, interested in women's issues. So. Wow! It was International yeah. Women's Day a couple of days yes, ago. Yes. Yes. Okay, so. So right now, reporting on it, will that change anything? Well, what I'm hoping to do by writing about it and by coming to you and talking about it here is to reach out to the women who are injured. Okay. By the, um, it's an implant that's defective, and up to 40% of the people implanted I heard. have been injured, and they... And they they have uh, no recourse? Well, there's, there's little recourse. Many times the doctors will tell them, no, it couldn't possibly be your implant. So those are the women I want to reach, the women that don't know that what's happening to them, their new symptoms, are really because they have this oh, implant. okay. Yeah. But the doctor right away removes it, right? No, it's almost next to impossible to remove. It's like a, it's a plastic mesh made out of woven plastic strands, and it and gets it's embedded hard to, it's hard. deep in the pelvis. It's hard to remove. It's yes, yeah, really difficult. So that there's, I'd say there are only five surgeons who can who can actually ably do it. take the whole thing out. Yeah. Now in the whole world, only oh, five. Wow. That's there, a there horrible many, thing. Yes. Yes. Why there, do they keep doing it? Um, well, it's a profit. It's it's a profit for the for the company that's the companies that are marketing it. They're marketing it. There's um, five to seven, a few have gone out of business because, as you may well know, there have been over 100,000 lawsuits about <gasps> this from oh, damaged wow. women, many deaths. I, it's impossible to know how many deaths, but it's in the But they, they closed shop. But some closed shop. Some sold out to other companies, and then and there's still some and doing they're it. They're still actively marketing it. Oh and my God! Talking women into getting this thing. They're calling it. Why would the Even doctor today, do it? Why would the doctor do that? Um, the, it's used to treat pelvic organ prolapse, which happens to you know about sixty percent of women as they age. Their oh my organs God. drop. Oh okay. And sometimes it's it's uncomfortable and it causes causes like urinary tract infection if the bladder is going going down or if the rectum's going down then oh my goodness causes constipation kind of problems or sometimes the uterus actually falls out right and just hang dangles there so yeah. women want help with that and in the past they fixed it with sutures they would sew it back up 
or they would do a hysterectomy and then tie the parts that are remaining back up to, to ligaments inside the woman's pelvis. So this, but, this dangerous product, you said 100,000 yes, lawsuits, yes. is still being manufactured? It's still being manufactured. It's That's still dangerous. being sold. Yeah, as the gold standard. I mean, I, I run several support groups for women who have the this. implant. Some are lucky enough to come to us early and... And then remove it. change the plan before their surgery, and they don't get the implant. Oh, good. But a lot come a week after they got it, and they're having trouble, and they... To remove they, it. Then they do the Google search, and they find us. And we, we can tell them, I'm sorry, but yes, the, your problem is because it was put in wrong. Or so you have a website there? Um, I do. It's um, pelvicmeshownersguide.org. Oh, we should have put it down. But there's a quick way to get me. It's just peggyday.org. And you find that? Yes, yes. Peggyday.org. That's easier to remember. Right, and you can get a link there from that to my to my guide. Where What I do on the Pelvic Mesh Owner's Guide is I go through all the complications. There's yeah. like 49 or 50 complications. Oh, my God. And I te teach women how to deal with what their complications are. So you are a nonprofit organization now? Um, I'm just me. You're just you? <laughs> yes. Oh, you're not even trying to get the status to raise funds? Uh, to, to raise funds? To, I you mean, know, a 501c3 nonprofit organization? There are several groups who have worked on that, um, but they've been very small and a little bit scattered. Like, okay. Um, there hasn't been, like, I remember when the Dalcon Shield caused problems okay. in the 70s. Okay. I lived right here in the Bay Area, yeah. and the women um, organized, and they got that thing pulled off the market within a year. Wow. But this has been going on for 20 years, and the women are kind of losing the battle to get it stopped. You know? Wow. Yeah. Wow, maybe more of a campaign need to be done. Yeah. More. Well, I'm hoping that getting my book out, getting my book published will help. Oh, uh, you're writing a book? I'm writing a book, and it's called Pelvis and Flames because oh my God. this implant causes an in inflammatory reaction intentionally. That's how it's designed. So in that that inflammation causes all kinds of problems. Or bleeding. Down maybe. the road, autoimmune disease, cancer, death. Oh my God. Yeah. People try to remove it, though, right? Yes, they do. There's lots of surgeons, some here in the Bay Area, that will take out part of it, uh -huh. whatever part they can get to easily. Uh -huh. But it's implanted so deeply that it takes a really special special surgeon to be able to, to get in it. there and get the whole thing out. That's terrible. Yeah, yeah. That's terrible. Do you know if it's only in the U.S.? No, I'm, I brought you some, some information about France because... They it, use it a lot in France. It, they use it a lot in France, and it's causing what, problems in France like everywhere else. No, but I thought uh, they stopped. They did not stop? I, You know, I don't know. I, no, because my sister yeah. used it, but oh. I, I know that was problematic. Yeah. But, but I don't know if they, they stopped it after all these problems. Yeah, well, one would think they would stop it here in the United States. After I I run a group called the Global Mesh Alliance. Yes. So people from Australia, Scotland, UK, they've been able to at least get um, some laws to hold it back a little. Yeah. yeah. But not to get it removed. You know yet. what you should do? There's a ballot coming up. Why don't you put it on the ballot? Get a few, <sighs> si uh, you know, number of signature required to be on the ballot. Yeah. And let's vote on it. That's a good idea. What are you saying, like in 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 the city, or are you in saying the in the state? Well, you start with San Francisco, yeah. put your proposition on the ballot, and have all these women sign it to be on the ballot, and then during election, people will vote on it. That would get it get some attention towards. And then yeah. it will go to all the cities once because. San Francisco is where it all starts, right? It is. It yes, is. where it yeah. all starts because we are ahead of it. We are progressive. Yes. So once, if it passes in Berkeley and here, it will go everywhere. Oh, what a great idea. I like do that. it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> what do you have to lose to do it? I think it's worth it. It's worth it because it's going to save lives. It's going to save headaches. It's going to save tragedies and all these other Marriages, consequences. Marriages, 40% in this one study. Hemorrhages, yes. Oh, no, 40% don't ever have sex again. Really? Yeah, because <gasps> it ruins 
it everything gets in the way it even cuts men's penises so oh. they have to get stitches sometimes the men because it's horrible it's, it's a horrible device they should stop that yes ma'am <laughs> I mean, I heard so many horrible stories about it. Why didn't they stop it already? Uh, because the, you know, the um, big pharma is the biggest um, lobbyist, seller, seller lobbyist in the country, mm. and they have tremendous power over Congress. What goes and what doesn't and go. What, and the FDA, uh, it, it, the FDA clears these devices based on a law that was passed that if they can prove that it's like another device. Yeah. It'll just get approved. Oh. Even though if you track back all the devices for the last 20 years, the first yeah. device was recalled. Oh. But they, but they, they Kept they're doing all it. based on that. Oh my God, yeah. I know, it's horrible. It is. It, it is. is horrible. I, yeah. I'm so happy you, you, you're doing more than what you have to do, you know, as a nurse, maybe tell your patient not to do it. Yeah. But past that, you want to stop it completely, right? I do, I do. And I want to, and really important to me as a nurse to help the women who are already injured. Oh. And that's why um, I was thinking maybe I would give you my, my uh, cell phone number. I would take messages. I won't accept phone calls from people I don't know. But um, if anybody needed help and they wanted to call me. Oh, you mean text, text you? Text yeah. me. I'll, yeah. I'll Go ahead. help Go ahead. them find resources. Yeah, you can. Um, 415-608-2044. You can also run a PSA here. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, <laughs> I mean, if you do like a one minute PSA okay. with your website and your phone number, they'll run it. Oh, good. Okay. We can do a one minute PSA at, at the end of the interview. Oh, good. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, you can put this in front of the camera so people can see. Okay. I mean, I think it's a good cause. Thank you. Thank I think you. it's a good cause that we need to. It's an to unfortunate cause. You know, yeah. I, I wish I didn't. Ha I wish you know. I'm I'm getting older. I've got six grandchildren. I'd like to be doing other things, but this is so important because too many women are just falling down this this rabbit hole. With oh yeah, I I, I I commend you for doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you succeed in before you die of eradicating <laughs> this barbaric uh, procedure. Thank you. That's yeah. your goal, right? Yes, it is. It yeah. is. Yeah. yeah, but you can achieve that goal if you do the propositions. That's a, that's a good start. It has when, to I, when, when we hadn't even thought of, we've been tossing around ideas for 10 years. You know, some, some people have gone in front of congressional committees, and um, it goes nowhere. Yeah, really. but if the, you the take only it thing city by city, is good. That has made a big change is when the lawyers got involved. Really? <laughs> of course, they're, they profited quite quite a bit with 100,000 lawsuits. Over a billion dollars has been either Spent. paid out or judgments um, against the manufacturers wow. in these cases. But they're still, we doing still, it. every still day, doing it. a woman comes onto our groups and says, my doctor talked me into getting this, you know. It's horrible. Yeah. And you don't know how to stop it, right? Because the doctor has more influence than the nurse. Right, except that if I can get my book out there and get it published, then maybe maybe the w women will see it before they go to their doctor. How many pages your book? Oh. Make it as short as possible because people <laughs> like short books. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. And then put it on Amazon and from there start your proposition. Uh, I don't know what you want to call it, Proposition A, B, C, D, or Proposition Stop, <laughs> and then... Beyond mesh. <laughs> yeah, stop, and then... Uh, hashtag. <laughs> yeah, there's no reason why that proposition will not win, because it's obviously hurting people. Yeah. yeah. So I hope you succeed. So show us the picture. Oh, okay. This is... Um, I'll, I'll give you a copy. No, no, show oh. it in front of you oh. like that. Oh, okay. So a portis, uh, yeah, hold it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, there you like go. This? Okay. Yeah. So okay. This, this is, is called pro-lift. Uh, pro pro a prothèse vaginal accusé de provoquer de graves blessures. Oh, you printed that. I printed that, yeah. Yeah. Um, this is, I didn't write this. This is from Marie Claire. Oh, Marie Claire, the, the in, article. Yeah. About this, pro-lift is the, one of the worst wow. uh, mesh that they have. Some of the mesh are very thin, and, and this one is so big, it, oh. it reaches inside the 
woman's entire pelvis. Oh, that's horrible. And causes all kinds of damage to all the organs. You know how many organs are inside of there, and it ca can cause damage to every single one of them. That's horrible. Yeah. So, so that's one thing they they're doing to women now. Yeah. yeah. All, all these uh, doctors, they must hate women to do that to them. You know, every single device, every single procedure is named after a man. Oh. And, he must know, ha hate uh, well, women. Well, every part of our body is, our female body is named after a man. How <laughs> come I never see you at the Women March? <laughs> I live in Point Ray Station, so I'm marching out there in front of the little bank. <laughs> oh, you did march? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, we should get more publicity for you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. yes you brought me in here from the yeah, countryside. Yeah, that's one, one step. <laughs> so I hope... Uh, you know, I hope uh, more attention will be given to that problem because it is a problem. It is a problem. And I'm hoping that by talking to you that we've reached some Well, it's one a first step. But then you can go KQED, yes. you can go Channel 2, you can go 7, 5. All you have to do is call. Okay. They're always looking for new topics. So all you have to do is call them and say, listen, I'm working on this book. It's regarding a device that hurts women. And all these people who are doing shows, you know, like Oprah and everything, they'll be happy to feature you. You'd be surprised at how many of those avenues we've tried. At, and you know. they said no? Well, and KQED did some short thing a couple of years ago. Okay. But, and, and did Sam, you try the other the channel? The Chronicle wrote a little article and featured three women, okay. local women. Okay. Yeah. Did so. you try the other major station? Uh, not myself personally. But some of the women yeah. did? Yeah. yeah, yeah. How about uh, Dr. Oz? I know. Did you try? I haven't, no. Try him. Yeah. <laughs> He's very good. He is very good. So write I, him. You know, I, I see myself, most writers, we like to stay kind of in our shell and our protective Actually, shell and write. You, you, once you have your book and you send it to him, it then is. that will get his attention. So publish that book okay. ASAP okay. and send him a printout of this. And if you want, send him your interview. And I'm sure it's, a, it's he, they're looking for topics like that. I mean, uh, th there is no reason why they wouldn't feature you because it is a, a growing problem. I mean, when you say 100,000 lawsuits and it's still manufactured, yes. to me, that, that tells me that those lawyers are not doing their job. Right. To stop. Well, they're you know they're taking their money, <laughs> and that's all they care. Yeah, yeah. That 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 is. Bad. I mean, I don't know that for sure, but that sure seems like. It seems like it. Yeah. yeah. And and the women that they represent are the women who have clear injuries, clearly documented injuries. Okay. There's a lot of women who are injured who just have no recourse because. And they don't say the anything. The hospital threw out their medical records. Or oh wow! After seven years, I think it is in California. They throw it away. They could throw it away. Oh my God. Yeah. So we need more people to come out. Yeah. Like yeah. like the Me Too campaign? Yes. It should be Me Too, I got hurt. Yeah. By a medical device that doctors still prescribe for, uh, for uh, fertil no, anti-fertility, right? <laughs> well, well, it's to lift the organs off it. It's also, they, they also use it for um, urinary incontinence. So many women, so oh. many women, even young and women. And they get hurt? Um, well, yes, this is, it, it, there are people who don't get hurt, you know, there's like, it's, it's a 40, 50% complication rate. So that means half the people don't have problems okay. yet. But and we have women coming to us who had got, got it 20 years ago and now they're and, getting uh, And problems. now they're getting problems. Yeah. So. But you remember when they used to do implants to have a yes. breast implant and then when they found out it caused cancer, they stopped. They stopped. And this, I believe this stopped causes it's cancer. Even, yeah. There's no there's no documentation yet that it does, but the process is there. If you have something in your body that's causing inflammation 24-7 mm -hmm. and cancer is caused by inflammation that... Yeah, um, then obviously and we've lost it's a people. problem. We've lost people. We, In the 10 years that I've been working with women, we've lost many of them to cancer. Oh. Or they're fighting it right now. Yeah. They should come out too. Yeah. Yeah, no, the dead ones can't. But we need we need, <laughs> we them need. To, we need them to come out to save the future lives. Yeah, because maybe they got hurt. Why let future patient get hurt? Yeah, yeah. 
somebody had to speak up, right? And when you were a nurse, you treated problems similar? Uh, well, yeah, I didn't ever get, I didn't ever see problems with implants, you All know. Right. But I, when I was working in the emergency room, I was the designated nurse to take care of sexual assault victims. Oh, okay. And, and, then, so and then they had, spoke about it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it seems to be a very harsh, uh, I mean, heavy problem. It is a heavy thing. It is not like something yeah. we talk about around the dinner table. It's something heavy. Right, right. But it needs to be addressed. So I'm glad you are addressing it because it takes courage to address heavy issues. And uh, I personally would not do it because I, I'm soft-hearted. But you are strong enough to come out and do it. And that's, I commend well, you for it took, that. Well, it took a lot of personal <laughs> personal um, courage courage yeah. to, to to come to out come out of my shell because I I do tend to be kind of shy yeah quiet and and I just like to write but um, yeah, yeah put it on next to your ballot that'll be fine that'll be great yeah it, that's the solution I think yeah uh, so it will take you a lot of courage to do it of course but if you get like 10 volunteers to go and get the signature then it goes on the ballot then you you got it uh, pretty much made to to address the issue uh, so I wish you a lot of luck on this uh, uh, endeavor I mean whatever you want to call it on this fight and then hopefully uh, it, it will be banned and replaced by something safer. So that's the solution, right? Yeah, to find something. or we could just go back to the way we did it before it was invented. There, there were solutions, and, and they work. Oh. And they work almost equally as well really? without the inflammation problem. Okay. The, the, just um, with stitches. Oh, stitches. Uh, or with, they, they can use part of your body to um, make a little sling and attach it. Okay. Um, like your... your um, fascia or a piece of your skin or something to, to, oh, okay. to so go back to that go back to that uh, that sometimes they use um, cow or pig don't uh, uh, slings but, okay yeah. so yeah it's a, I know it's a problem so yeah I know it's a really difficult topic but yeah it takes somebody of your caliber of having all that experience to attack the problem and nobody else would have done it but you, right? So well, I, it's good. Keep thanks. going. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you will get the support, you know, if you bring it out to the public. So thank you so much for being here. I thank almost you, myself. For fighting me. Yeah, you're welcome. What? But I almost myself didn't know if I should present such a topic because I'm kind of soft-hearted on these things but yes. uh, I'm glad I did finally so thank you so much thank you thank you Eileen <laughs>